Life has many surprises and sometimes the only way to pull through is by learning ahead and understanding some basic principles. Wise people try to learn from others. According to Lada's blog, life is a continuous learning experience. Throughout our lives, we keep rising and falling, picking up important lessons along the way. Some of these lessons come from experience, yet there are others that will learn watching others or reading in books, for example. No matter how much we learn from the books, there is a significant difference between practical and theoretical experience. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 12 lessons in life you need to learn. They can guide you on your journey towards success. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. Time is life One of the major things you will learn as you grow older is that time is life. People underestimate how much they can attain over time and they often end up without a lot of achievements. Start a business today. Start that trip you have always wanted and it will all sort itself out in time. The courage to do what needs to be done on time is perhaps your single most valuable power as a young person. What are you waiting for? Time is very valuable and should not be wasted pursuing things that don't matter. Don't, for example, spend years working at a place you hate just because you want to be able to pay your bills. The only way you can get your dream job is by resigning from your current one. Indeed, you may not be certain, but what you can be certain of is that you will never do better unless you take the chance. 2. You can't please everyone The world cannot be satisfied with anything because it is comprised of many people and people do not often agree on things or hold similar views at the same time. Trying to please them is simply impossible. Even God doesn't please everyone. Always trying to do this is not a good thing. According to Psych Central, people pleasers yearn for outside validation. Their personal feelings of security and often confidence is based on getting the approval of others. If you always try to please others, you will likely lose yourself. People can be greedy. They will take and take from you until there is nothing left. The only way to survive and be happy is to put yourself first. This may not sound like it is a good thing, but trust me, it is. Imagine getting depressed over other people's issues when you have a life, dreams, and aspirations you are not working on. No one owes you anything. Even if you help them, it doesn't place them under a legal obligation to help you in turn when you are in need. Look out for yourself and you will end up happier. 3. Value people who appreciate you and quit hero worshipping. It is cruel work and will need as many people as we can get. If you have friends, hold on to them. If you don't, try and make some. Stop following people who treat you like trash because you think they are important people. Someone who gives you their homework to do over the weekend while they go to have fun is not your friend. Someone who only calls you to ask for a favor and never calls back when you call him is not your friend. You need to value your time more. Spend them studying and becoming better at your areas of interest or just imagining your future. It is far more profitable. 4. Define your principles early. What type of person do you want to be? The type that will listen to everyone or the type that is sure of everything and where they are going. Every serious person will have a set of principles that will guide them. These principles can span across several areas of their lives. They may have principles relating to their health. They may have principles. They may for example not eat after 6 p.m. every day. When it relates to their career, they may for example publish one paper a month on an area of interest. Every year, they are sure of at least one publication. People who are this principled seldom miss out on their targets. Let your principles guide you. It helps you to stay on track. 5. Identify your priorities What do you want from life? Setting your priorities requires asking yourself deep questions that give you clarity. You don't have an infinite amount of time. You must therefore focus on the things that truly matter. According to Chinese Hong Kong American actor Bruce Lee, it is not a daily increase but a daily decrease. Hack away at the inessentials. If you have figured out you want to become a judge, you will start working towards getting a law degree 
This applies to any career path at all you might be considering. Don't allow friends to distract you from your goals. If you are a highly sensitive person, always ask your friends this. Do you value your career more than you value making your friends happy? If your answer is yes, you have to prioritize it. If your answer is no, perhaps you need lessons in saying no. If you never say no, people will always try to exploit you. One of the surest parts to freedom from stress is learning how to say no. The more you can say no to things that benefit you in no way, the better you can prioritize the things that truly matter. 6. Leave to leave a legacy What do you want to be remembered for? Do you desire to be remembered as someone unable to leave out his dreams or someone who excelled in your area of interest? Many of the times, young people live their lives recklessly without thinking of the future. If you want to be president, you have to be willing to make sacrifices now to achieve your goals. Your conduct should reflect your intentions even from a young age. You should maybe volunteer while your mates play video games and maybe join the military or become a lawyer. Don't joke with your legacy. It is all you will leave behind when you are no more. 7. Your network is your net worth. What kind of company do you keep? Do you think it matters? According to Forbes, networking is not only about trading information but also serves as an avenue to create long-term relationships with mutual benefits. Your network is not about how many friends or acquaintances one has. Some of us have hundreds. It is more about people you develop strategic process relationships with. The greater the process relationships you nurture, the better your career prospects. 8. To be financially free, build a business or have multiple investments or streams of income. To be financially free, build a business or have multiple investments or streams of income. Older people have a lot of regrets. A common one is the fact that they wish they had a business. They had businesses they built in their youth. When you are young, it is the time you can afford mistakes. You can afford to start all over, to go for the things you want with everything you have got. This is not the case when you are older. Everyone wants to be rich or at least wishes it. Start on time to plan your finances. It is a lesson you don't want to learn the hard way. Number 9. Leave a little and make beautiful memories. Make our time to admire the world. Working all the time will not let you leave. Travel to those countries you have always wanted to visit. Watch the sunset, share memories with loved ones and smile. The world is such a beautiful place when you make time to see it. We are ultimately all we have. Make time to be with yourself. You can sit in a garden and just smell roses or take a walk. Enjoy the warm breeze on your skin and stretch out your palm when it rains. If you don't do it now, you may never do it. 10. It's okay not to have it all figured out. Just take action. The lesson of action is one that a whole lot of people still haven't learned. The more action they take, the closer they get to accomplish their objective. Have you ever spent an entire week wondering what will happen if you did something? Well, here's a solution. Just do it. The more you think about a problem, the less likely you become to take action. Most problems are solved by taking action. This is after all how ideas are refined from working on them. Take action always. 11. Happiness lies within, not with others. No one can make you happy, not even if they love you and are with you. You alone can make you happy by choosing to be happy. When you hinge your happiness on people, if they leave you, they take your happiness with them. Happiness is not and should not be the function of the happening or absence of something or someone. It makes happiness fragile. You need to choose to be free. Look inwards. What are your greatest desires? Once you identify them, put them aside and admire yourself. Learn to enjoy your own company and smile when no one is there. It makes it easier to deal with the world. 12. Attitude is everything. This is perhaps the most important lesson of all. How you perceive something changes everything about it. If you see yourself as a failure for not passing a test, you will feel bad. On the other hand, if you see tests as events, you will recognize that you did not pass the test but you will likely not feel bad about it. Embrace as much of these lessons as you can. They will help you as you progress in life.